925photoshoptips.com. We're going to be talking about the eyedropper tool, which is the eye on your keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and open up an image and take a look at that. Okay, so with the eyedropper tool, there's uh, four different items in this actual toolkit. And the first one allows you just to take and grab a sample of a specific color. So when you grab that, it automatically will show up in your foreground. So depending on which color you choose, you can see that it automatically switches different colors. So that's really good if you're trying to match a color or you want to sample a color of a photograph. The next one is uh, going to be um, the color sample tool. And what the color and what the color sample tool does is it allows you to select multiple points and kind of get an average. So let's go ahead and select a point. And as you notice, that point number one is located right here. So here's number one, and here's your red, green, blue values uh, located here. So let's select a different one. And you're going to notice here's your number two red, green values. And we're going to select a third one. And it will allow you to do up to four different values within one scene. So here's all of them. And that way you can either get an average or you can select what value you liked. If you liked number three, you can use these red green values uh, in your actual um, color sample. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these out. And then the next one in here is a ruler tool. Now this wouldn't really work in this image, but if you wanted to measure uh, some more exact um, places from point to point, you can just click and drag this and you'll notice over here this will give you your values of how far you've selected. And also those values show up at the very top here. So we're going to go ahead and clear this out and select the next tool, which the next tool is just a count. Now the count works really well and these stay on your image itself. So say I wanted to select uh, an average of a couple of different colors, I can go ahead and just put some different numbers on there knowing that if I want to go back to these again and again using my eyedropper tool, I can go ahead and select those and go back to it again and again. And notice normally that would be a blue color, but if I select that it's just going to be a black. So that's the, the way uh, the eyedropper tool and its assortment uh, in the toolkit work.